It's back. It's hurricane season, 2020. Things you need to know. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. My name is Charles. I'm gonna start a video series on hurricane season 2020. And we're gonna be talking about a lot of different things that you are going to want to have on hand for a hurricane. And one of the main reasons that I'm doing this, besides in light of what's going on in this world, which we all know about and I'm not gonna talk about, um, they're boosting up the numbers. So I wanna read those off to you real quick in case anybody out there has missed them or didn't see that they uh, boosted up their, their projection. So <clears throat> tropical storms. They're projecting 14 to 18. Normal is 12. Hurricanes, seven to nine, and the normal is six. Major hurricanes, that's three to four, and the normal is two. Now, the reason I wanted to tell you that is, is because there's a reason why this is probably happening. Um, we're going through all these phases, the El Nino, La Nino, and all this stuff. Uh, but another thing that's happening is, um, uh, less emissions are going into the air. So what is happening is, is old uh, Mother Nature there is being, um, she's really happy right now uh, because the air is a lot cleaner because there hasn't been as many cars on the road, planes in the air, or and all that throughout the whole world. And we've seen the satellite pictures from that. But Mr. Sunshine, you know, he's really happy and he's beaming right down on us and that's causing it the ground, the rays to get to the ground, and for everything to warm up at a faster rate. Now I know a lot of you people live probably in the north and stuff, you're like, oh, I haven't seen it yet, but just wait, it's coming. Um, down here in Florida, the ocean waters have already uh, started warming up. Um, they're actually two degrees higher um, than what they were this time last year. Um, we haven't had, we finally got rain yesterday, but that was the first rain we've had in months. And um, so the waters are warming up faster. So once we get to 80 degrees, it's game on. Cause that's what a hurricane needs is 80 and above to, you know, grow and uh, do its nasty thing, if you would say. So let's get started on this video. We're gonna talk about the number one thing, one of the number one things if you if you got to be outside, you lose your power, you got you know, or you know, whatever, your house is damaged. Um, you want to try to keep the good old bugs and the mosquitoes at bay. Anybody that lives in the Gulf Coast, all the way around from Texas, all the way back to Florida, up the East Coast and stuff, um, everybody knows what mosquitoes are. They are nasty. So you can start off. You can buy these these little uh, Centronella candles, you know, they come in a nice tin. It's a reusable tin. You can use this for a lot of things. Uh, they do have a wood wick in them. They're $2 and 88 cents a piece at Walmart. They're still in stock now. I checked this morning. Um, you can, uh, you want to make sure that you have tiki torches for outside. Now with your tiki torches, this is where you can save some money. This is the Walmart brand here, 100 ounces. And this is the Tiki brand here, 100 ounces. This one is 9.88, and this one is 14.88. The only reason I have this one that you see it right now is because I bought it when they closed everything out before Christmas, and I picked it up for eight bucks. So I got a good deal on it. Um, you can also buy these. You know, uh, these are three wicks. They're in a metal container. Uh, most of the time they have them all different types of colors. So if you're looking to have your hurricane party, you're golden. You can get these little ones here. Um, these are just from Repel. You know, it's a single wick, but hey, you know, when it comes to trying to get rid of mosquitoes, you want to do whatever you can do. Um, with your tiki torches, you also want to make sure that you always have a couple extra cans. And these all come with a lid and a wick that is inside. Uh, because these will rust out over time 
and um, I've had that happen several times and it rusts out the bottom, you fill it up and the next thing you know it's all running, you know, right out of it and um, not a fun thing and it actually it will destroy your grass or anything, you know, if you had it in a, you know, a planter bed or something like that, the, this stuff here, once it gets in, on it, forget it, it's dead. So you can have these, um, Walmart does sell these, um, but I buy them on Amazon. You can get them in a six pack or a 12 pack and they're very cheap. Now, with your Tiki torches, always make sure you have extra wicks. Um, you can get these just about anywhere. But buy extra wicks, so you always have extra wicks on hand. Uh, another thing that you may want to think about having, I know it sounds a little bit silly, but in an emergency situation and you don't have power and the, you know, the air ain't moving or something, uh, might want to pick up some fly traps that you could hang up outside and um, hopefully catch some of those little burgers, you know. And one other thing that I want to talk to you about, um, actually there's a couple, but um, bug spray. Now I buy the liquid form because it stores better. I keep this stored in my house in one of the closets, um, but it does store better and it lasts longer than an aerial cell can will. Um, so I'd go with the liquid, your choice of what brand you want to get. Now Off does make this uh, spray and it's called dry. So when you spray it on, um, it feels like you just put baby powder on yourself. I would use that with your kids. I wouldn't put this on because it does make you sometimes feel, you know, that little sticky, icky feeling. And this here keeps you nice, soft and dry. And um, that would be really great for your kids. Um, if you want to get really creative and you want to be um, nature's, you know, best friend, get you a bottle, you know, a glass or plastic, doesn't matter. Um, fill it up with a little bit of water and put uh, get yourself some um, oils and you want lavender and lime grass on your essential oils and you mix uh, a little bit of both of those in here and then you have a spray that you can spray your clothes or you know you can spray yourself if you would like and that will actually help keep the mosquitoes away too. And that's a all natural um, remedy compared to buying, you know, something that has all the chemicals in it. Just depends on your situation and what you can afford to do. Last thing we're gonna talk about, having wooden stick matches. Now you can get all different kinds. Uh, you get these, you know, these boxes right here, 88 cents Walmart. Um, you can go into the camping section uh, they have the waterproof matches, all different types, they, they range in prices, you know, three, four, five, six bucks, it just depends. Bic lighters, whether you smoke or you don't smoke, pick up a pack of Bic lighters, even if it's a two pack, and keep those in your house just in case of emergency and you need them because there's not a lighter that beats a Bic lighter. And then for the last thing, you want a utility lighter. So if you got a light uh, charcoal, your gas grill, a fire, or something like that, you're doing it with one of these instead of one of these. So this is the first video that's in this series. There's gonna be quite a few. Um, a lot of this stuff is quote, non-essential right now. So hurricane season is coming for everybody that is affected by that. Like I said, from the Gulf Coast all the way around, all the way up the East Coast. Um, you might want to start thinking about this before everybody wises up and realizes that uh, they got to buy all this stuff too and then it's gone. Everything that's on this table is available in the stores right now. So, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.